Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's Tea Time Thursday. I'm going to be doing a get ready with me like chit chat thing obviously because I have no makeup on. I just filmed last night this foam roller wet set hair tutorial. Well the first half of it after this I'm gonna film the part where I brush it out and show how to style it and all that stuff. So I figured since I have to get ready to film that video anyways I would just get ready on camera and chat with you guys. This palette is filthy. Sorry guys. I'm not drinking tea, I'm drinking coffee. In my last video where I announced Tea Time Thursdays, I said that I don't drink tea, but it turns out I do drink tea. I just like really fruity, sugary tea. So uh, because it's like 8.30 in the morning, I'm drinking coffee. I'm not gonna do too much talking about the products that I'm gonna use because that would make getting ready take too long and I do need to film other videos today. But uh, I will make more videos talking about the products that I use if you guys want me to. This is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I like to spray it on my face before I put everything on because I have really oily skin. So just everything that I can get on my face to keep my makeup on there lasting longer is pretty good with me and I love this stuff it's got a really great mist on it and I just like to bathe in it and then fan my face so I know that a lot of you guys subscribe to me because you like film photography or digital photography or videography or travel vlogs. I'm always gonna make those videos. In fact, I have some vlogs from my Alaska trip coming up soon. I want my channel to reflect who I am as a person and who I am as a person, I, I'm not just like one-sided. I don't just have photography and videography interests. I love film photography, digital photography, travel photography, landscape photography, portrait photography. I love makeup, I love fitness. Fitness, I love lifestyle, I love fashion, especially vintage style, which is like obvious by what I've got on my head right now. But um, I am going to have my channel be a reflection of who I am as a person and I'm not a one-sided thing, so my channel's not gonna be one-sided. But to keep you guys happy, for those of you who do only subscribe to me for one thing, I'm gonna have individual days scheduled for these things. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyes. This was a gift from my sister Nikki like a couple of years ago and it has still lasted me so the expensive price is worth it when you consider that you're not buying one for a couple of years I want to do on Mondays makeup Mondays but I might change that name to beauty Mondays it just doesn't have the same like nice alliteration because that's when I'll post things like the hair tutorial that I'm gonna do and let me change some settings oh yeah I was talking about um, my upload schedule and what I have for categories for the week I'm going to post fashion lifestyle makeup and those kinds of videos on Mondays so that way if you only want to follow me for that you know what day to come see me and you can ignore me for the rest of the week if you want Monday will be be for people who like makeup and things like that obviously this video is a Thursday video and it's going up on Thursday and not on a Monday and it is makeup related but Thursdays are gonna be kind of like whatever I feel like doing that day since it's gonna be a casual all about tea time day so yeah there's that I don't know why I'm doing my eyes first I should have done my eyebrows I'll do that in just a second but I struggle with acne, I have super oily skin, and I'm really pale. So I'm gonna make videos catered to that crowd on Mondays. On Wednesdays, I'm gonna do Work It Wednesdays. It's gonna be all about goals, whatever goals I'm working towards, or just talking about goals in general, talking about ways to achieve your goals, talking about organization, talking about fitness, like just goals in general, Work It Wednesdays. Uh, and then Thursdays will be Tea Time Thursdays. Fridays will be the regular vlogs or travel vlogs or whatever I want my like main video to be. I'm gonna always post on Fridays, but I'm going to start expanding what I offer. And sometimes I'm gonna post bonus videos. And depending on what day of the week it is, will be what type of video I'm posting. And then sometimes when I can think of one, I'm gonna do story time Saturdays. That's actually something that Carrie Dayton does. Um, she is a larger YouTuber. She's beautiful and she does story time Saturdays. So that's where I got that idea from. I'm totally giving her credit. I'm not trying to steal her thunder. And I probably won't even post that many story times because I'm not very good at that. You guys, I'm really bad at just doing my makeup while I talk to you. I need to just keep going. Oh yeah, so I'm filming this tea time Thursday because I'm getting ready to film the rest of my how to do heatless curls, heatless like vintage style curls with a foam roller wet set. I'm gonna film the brush out and styling portion next. I know I already said that, but I wanna talk about what I'm doing today and that's what I'm doing today right after this. After that, I'm going to be filming a Nair video. I bought some Nair stuff and I'm going to test it out for you guys and let you know how it works and the results and all that stuff. I don't know in what order this stuff is going to go up, so at some point you'll see this. So I'm filming a lot of videos today and it feels pretty good. I like doing that. I did a lot of my homework that I was supposed to do this week 
week. Um, I did it in advance over the weekend so that I could have more time to film videos because Bill just got me a ring light and I'm stoked on it. it means I can film videos whenever I want instead of being limited to like the time of day having sunlight and stuff like that. I'm just really bringing my videos to the next level visually. I also just ordered a microphone so I will have better audio. I'll do a uh, unboxing and review video on that microphone as well. I see why people do their eyebrows off camera now. This takes a really long time. I've already been filming for like six minutes so hopefully you guys like a long video. I know my mom will so hi mom thanks for hanging out with me. I miss you. My mom lives in Alaska. <sighs> She's saving the world fighting cancer. I'm gonna finish my eyebrows and come back in a minute. They can't all be perfect eyebrow days, so whatever. And I'm not a makeup artist by any means, you guys. I don't claim to think that I'm an expert or anything. I just think that it's fun to do. And I like watching these types of videos, so I figured I would make them for you guys. Time for more coffee. Mm, ever since we got a Keurig, we drink way too much coffee. But we try to use the pods as little as possible because they're really bad for the environment. Now I can continue with my eye makeup. This battery's gonna die already. I'm going to do a really simple eye makeup look because I want to wear some red lips. My eyes are so hooded that you'll see once I put on liquid eyeliner, you can't see it when I open my eyes. It's freaking ridiculous. It's really weird doing your makeup on camera. Do you guys see the super cute Edison string lights back here? My birthday was just last week and Bill got me Edison bulb spring lights. So cute. He spoiled me. This video is gonna be way too long. Hopefully some of you out there like me enough to watch it. I just finished the eyeliner and here's what I'm talking about. Like if I look down, you can see my eyeliner, but the second that I just look up naturally, why? Thanks to my parents for these hooded eyes. I have yet to find a foundation that does not crease right here where I get that like smile line. Bill says he loves it, he thinks it's cute, but I don't. <laughs> There's pretty much never a time that I'm not breaking out. And now I'm gonna cake my face in powder. Hopefully this doesn't take all day because I'm already taking way too long to make this video. You don't know how many times I've hit myself in the face with my long nails while doing this. I'm using the e.l.f. Natural Multi-Pack. Comes with three sets of lashes and some glue. I don't remember the price on this, but I'm sure it was under $6 because e.l.f. is really affordable. You've got your lashes and your glue, and then underneath you've got two more sets of lashes. That's pretty nice. I'm going to get out some tweezers and then put them on your eye to measure it because you need to trim them to your eye size. I'm gonna trim from the outer edge so I'm gonna place the inner corner down to see how much I need to trim. So I'm just kind of holding where I need to trim off. It's terrifying to commit to trimming them. Is that the right size now? I never wear false lashes. I haven't since I was like 15 or something. If I can find the picture of me when I'm 15 wearing false lashes, I will put it in now. Wow, oh, makes me feel pretty. It's like a real life Snapchat filter. My boyfriend was telling me I don't need these lashes, but I was explaining that it's fun. Even though I'm playing into society's beauty standards, it's fun. So I'm just going to do the same thing to the other eyelash now. Maybe I should zoom you guys in for this. I'm not left-handed. Why did I do it this way? Ah! I'm gonna put this back on just to make sure that I don't need to do any more trimming. Okay, I'm gonna put the glue on it and let the glue sit for like 30 seconds so that it gets tacky and less liquidy. And we're gonna let that sit for like 30 seconds. So this clip is 21 minutes long. I hope I can edit this down to 10 minutes, y'all. I really hope I can. The inner corner does not want to cooperate. Okay, well, I got it to stick, but I did it too high. Hopefully when I'm recording, I'll be far enough away that you can't really tell, so whatever. So that's one eyelash done, and we'll see how the other one is. Bill got me this mug, if I haven't said that. He got me in for, I think, Christmas? Okay, so I'm just gonna do the exact same process on the other eye. Once again, the inner corner really does not want to stick down. This is so hard. I don't think I'm ever gonna get that inner corner to stay. Why can't I be like a pro at this on my first try, you guys? Oh my God, I think I finally got it. No, I didn't. Why? Okay, so my first try, that was horrible. I'm gonna try doing some mascara. I would do liquid eyeliner on top, but I think that's just asking for a disaster. And yes, I make that face. When I do these videos, you guys should give me, like what do you guys want me to talk about in the future? If you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below or you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter and contact me that way and ask me whatever questions you want to. Maybe I'll do a Q&A for my next Tea Time Thursday if I get any questions. 
We did a really bad job. Okay, everybody, I am now done. This is the finished look. I had to do my lips off camera to save camera battery and time. And this is the look. I overlined the top just a little bit. And I really hope you guys like this. Get ready with me. It was more of like a chit chat laid back thing. I hope the video wasn't too long. And if you guys want to see the result of my hair when it's done, just look out for a video called Foam Roller Wet Set for like Hollywood Waves. It's going to be something like that. And once it's up, I'll link it down below or put it in the end card. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for today, you guys. I'm gonna go film some more videos. I really hope you liked it. If you're not already, subscribe and hit the button down below and become one of my internet friends. I would love to have you here on my channel. And give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And that's gonna be it. Bye, guys. See you in my next video. Mwah.